Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the equipment you need to know for the National 5 course. It is important when drawing any equipment that you draw in 2D and that you do not cut off the top of any beakers or test tubes with a line. The first piece of equipment you need to know about are boiling tubes and test tubes. These are used to carry out small scale reactions looking at precipitation reactions, displacement reactions, pH tests. The next piece of equipment that you need to know is the beaker. Be aware that the measurement on the side of the beaker is not accurate and shouldn't be used for measuring liquids. Beakers are used to carry out larger reactions or for heating water. Measuring cylinders are used to measure liquids. When you draw a measuring cylinder, make sure that you show the scale on the side as a graduated mark. Thermometers are used to measure the temperature of solutions and droppers are used to transfer small volumes of liquids. Conical flasks are used during titrations or during filtration. They are flasks that are narrower at the top than they are at the bottom. The scale on the side of a conical flask is not accurate in a similar way to a beaker. Filter funnels are used with filter paper to separate solids from liquids. When folding filter paper, fold it in half and then in half again. This cone is then held within the filter funnel by wetting it with some of the solvent that you are using. Delivery tubes are an important piece of apparatus that allow the gas produced during experiments to be collected. The tube is often put into water underneath a boiling tube or measuring cylinder full of water. If you use a measuring cylinder, you are able to calculate the volume of gas produced, either in total or over time periods. If you use a boiling tube, you can stop with the boiling tube and test the gas for the presence of oxygen or hydrogen at the end of your experiment. This is a tricky diagram to draw as you must make sure you do not close off the delivery tube at any point in your diagram. Evaporating basins are often used when making soluble salts. They are used when you are evaporating off the water which is also produced in neutralisation reactions. Pipettes are used during titration reactions to measure out accurately known volumes of liquids. They are filled using a safety filler up to the line which can be seen on the pipette. They come in many different volumes although 10, 20 and 25 are very common. Burettes are also used during titration reactions. They have a tap at the bottom to allow liquid to flow and a scale usually running from 0 at the top to 50 at the bottom. They allow accurately known volumes of liquid to be passed into the conical flask. The tap allows the flow to be stopped when the reaction is finished, which can be seen by use of an indicator. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for flashcards at 6pm. Bye for now!